I bought silver and gold before the election, and then this happened. Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. We're a channel that likes to buy physical gold and silver, and we like a coin with a good story. If you like those things, please subscribe. Well, the U.S. election is coming up very shortly, and so I asked my audience, before the election, what is the best move for you right now? Buying more silver? Buying more gold? Holding on to cash and see what happens? Or selling some gold or silver? So over 650 votes. Let's see the results. So the survey results were 43% buy more silver, 20% buy more gold, 35% hold on to cash and see what happens, and 2% sell some silver or gold. So what did I do? I bought silver and gold. So let's open this up and see what is inside. Okay, so there is an invoice inside, which I will share with you towards the end. All right, so this is from Monument Metals. I pre-ordered it. I bought around October 13th. So let's take a look at the price of gold for the last six months. Here I am buying, I think it was around October 13th. Not a bad time in the last 60 or 90 days to be buying gold. And here is the price of silver for the last six months. And once again, October 13th. Not bad timing. More dumb luck. More just the time that I was ready to buy than trying to time anything perfectly. But not bad. All right, let's take a look at what we have. We have three items. And yep, we have everything. So the first thing is this. This is from the Royal Mint. And here we go. 2021. This is my first 2021 coin. And this is the Silver Britannia with some new security features. Let's take a look. So this is a metric tube. <laughs> As opposed to the Silver Eagles, which are 20, this is 25. So the first... This is the Queen... I'm trying to remember, I saw a couple of videos on the security features of this. I'm not sure if there's security features on this side, but the key is this side. So yeah, see the, look at this thing right here. It changes from a trident to a padlock. So padlock, trident. And I think this, uh, this wavy background as opposed to this, which is a pretty cool background in terms of, uh, it's got kind of a, repeating arch pattern but this the waves are very cool and underneath the word Britannia you can see some words so that's really small printing and I think maybe in the shield there might be some really fine details 
someone pointed out that the shield was special. I'm not sure. There's all the different directions. I'm not sure if that's hard to do. But you can see the words underneath the word silver. I've got some more silver, but let's take a look at some gold. Another 2020 one tenth ounce gold. There it is. One tenth ounce gold. So I was able to put in a, a sizable order for me, a thousand dollars, which helps eliminate sales tax. So that's worth a good sixty, seventy dollars. So if I'm spending that much money, I'd like to get some silver and some gold. I went a little heavier on the silver in this one. Could have gotten maybe a quarter ounce would have been a better size for gold, but I wanted to get a tube of silver. And once I committed to a tube of silver, that 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 uh, took up a big chunk of the of the budget. In addition to that, I had a little bit left over to get to a thousand, so I went back to my go-to coin, and what did I get? I got a Canadian silver dollar. And so all of these, or many of these, seem to be the 1964 Charlottetown, Quebec 100th anniversary. I'm not sure what this is celebrating. I think it's the different provinces coming together under the umbrella of Canada. And so these are in great shape, which is why I like these. They're bigger than a US half dollar, smaller than a peace dollar, but in fantastic shape and 80% silver. I think typically I find these to be a slightly less of a premium than a government bullion coin and way less of a premium than a piece or Morgan dollar and really in good shape for the price. So I like getting these and so I was able to get six, I think. So six, 0.6 ounces of silver, so 3.6 ounces, 25 ounces of Britannia's, and a one-tenth ounce of gold. Here is the invoice. Six of them, 1644 each. A tube for 677. And a one tenth ounce gold eagle for two twenty five, and so that just avoids sales tax. That came out to twenty seven dollars a coin. Pre ordered, had to wait a little bit, but worth the wait. Beautiful coin. Hard to know what the election will bring. Hard to know who is going to win. Hard to know how long it's going to find out who the winner is. I think no matter which candidate is the ultimate winner, I think both of them are going to be stimulating the economy in such a way that the value of the dollar will go down over time, which only leads to increased value for both silver and gold. So short term, hard to say what would have been better, holding out a little longer, or locking in one more purchase before the election, I opted to lock it in before the election. So I bought silver and gold before the election, and then this happened. A presidential candidate was selected. So let's see where the medals are going next. <laughs>